I've got a, a very interesting make a difference for you today. I feel quite emotional already. And today we are meeting a mum who's on a mission. Now, Marlene Forward's son, Joe, has Duchenne muscular dystrophy and she's raising money for charity by doing some abseiling. Just seen the photograph of what she's going to abseil down. I felt... <laughs> Felt felt quite uh, felt quite peculiar looking at it. Uh, welcome to the show, Marlene. Hello, Amy. It's lovely to have you here and chat to you. And um, we're going to talk more uh, firstly about what Duchenne muscular dystrophy is. Yeah, well, basically, it's a muscle wasting condition which progressively gets worse. It normally starts with the legs. You know that you notice that they can't walk very well, and then it spreads to your arms and every, every part in your body. Really, is a muscle. Your heart, um, that's quite obviously quite a serious thing if it gets to your heart. You're swallowing, you know, everything that you can think of what has a muscle, it affects. So um, my son now is 15 and he's sort of 99% in a wheelchair. So We must say hello to him. He's in reception listening, isn't he? Yes, he is. He's uh, in the best place out there, I think, so he can't <laughs> interrupt me. <laughs> That's it. Do you think he would if he was in here? Yes. And I feel quite particularly emotional about your story. There's a member of our family. It's my second cousin's son, Oliver, and he has muscular atrophy, which is similar, I think. But tell us about Joe. You've said he's 15. What's, uh, when did you discover that he had this, this form of dystrophy? Well, ever since he's been born and he's been sort of slow at doing stuff, he didn't walk till he was probably two and a half. That's what Oliver did, which yeah. is quite a thing. And so you, you take him to the doctors, paediatricians. They, they test them. Oh, he's just, you know, we, we'll do this and that. We'll just see. Now nah, they're fine. And then I think when he was three, he was diagnosed being autistic. When they said he used to fall over a lot, that's his coordination. Everything. It's because of his autism. And I thought, well, that just didn't sit quite right with me because he's, he's not typically autistic. No. So as a mum, you thought I'm not quite sure if I buy into that and believe that that's it so after numerous appointments um pediatricians doctors again it took me seven years for actually to somebody to listen to me that there was a problem he kept falling over and and he broke his arm once he knocked his front teeth out and all these things but it took me seven years for a doctor to actually listen and it was just a blood test in the end that diagnosed it just just a blood test yeah yeah we've mentioned that you're doing an ab sale which I mean, I you know, I take my hat off to you. I'm not great with heights. Why have you chosen an ab sale? Are you looking to raise funds? Yeah, um, there's a charity called Action Duchenne, and they're raising money to find a cure for muscular dystrophy because at the moment there's no cure for it at all. You can have steroids and various things to sort of help you along, but we decided because Joe was so late being diagnosed that the steroids wouldn't probably do a lot of difference and make him didn't weren't going to make him walk sort of any longer than what he probably was doing so um i went to a conference last year in birmingham and it was the action to shen conference and i met some lovely people all in the same situation and the, the charity they were really good and i just saw it on facebook one night and i thought oh that sounds like a good idea and it's something that it puts me completely out of my comfort zone. Oh, yes, I, I would be me as well. And this is the thing as well, is that by, by doing this abseil, you're coming in here to talk to us about what you're doing and talking about the Duchenne uh, muscular dystrophy as well, because there are various sorts, I think, aren't there? I think the, so. Yeah, the, yeah. there's, there's quite a, a lot, thing. but um, the Duchenne is the most common right. one, which probably affects one in 2,500 boys, and it's 99% boys that have it. So, um, yeah, it's interesting, the, isn't it? The, there is a lot of different ones, but this is the worst one yeah. you can have, basically. So when are you hoping to do this abseiling, you brave woman? <laughs> uh, beginning of June, it's going to be um, in Northampton at uh, the National Lift Tower, which is a now a, it's a purposely sort of permanent structure. How, t- how tall is it? It's 418 feet. Oh, how many how many stories would that be if it was a house? That's tall, isn't it? That's got to be a tall hotel at least. I've not even thought to look at that. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably best you don't. It's probably best you don't. How much are you hoping to raise? Well, we had to raise £250 to start with and I'm up to about 850 at the moment. Wow. So I just keep accosting anybody I can accost to get money out of them. Yeah, And, and it's, it's because I think... Joe's got to be brave every day with this horrible condition that he's got. And I've only got to be brave 
to get me from the top to the bottom of the tower. So it's all subjective, isn't it? Really? Yeah. yeah we're talking about doing abseiling. I'm sort of terrified. And but the, by the sounds of what Joe has to go through every day, that that seems just just incomparable. What he's going through. Yeah, is, he a, is he a cheerful little soul? I know he's listening and he can't he can't shout at me. He's so happy. He never complains. He's the most intelligent person I've ever met because he can't do a lot of stuff. He reads a lot of books, encyclopedias, and he just knows everything yeah. about everything. That's like Oliver, my my uh, my third cousin. He's the same, ever so bright. Just just gets on with it, and uh, you you know he he chats away at you, and he's this extraordinary brain. He's incredible. I, I love the Sunday. I'm, hopefully, I can nip out and say hello to Joe shortly. I would love to do that. How can people support you? So, is there a, a website or a just giving page? And they can do it through Action Duchenne. That's that's like the charity that do it. But um, most of it I've done, I've had sort of paper sponsor sheets and uh, I've done it that way. That seems to be the easiest way for people to... And of course, if anyone doesn't use any of these things, they can drop something into here and we'll pass it on to you. Yes, yeah. Anything is gratefully received. That's very kind. I wish you luck. Just remind me again when you're doing it. It was, um, I've forgotten the day already. Yeah, it's in June. It's in June. Yeah, it's Plenty in June. of time to get lots of sponsorship. You've done incredible already, haven't you? I have, yeah. Oh, you're amazing. That's my guest uh, this morning. This is Marlene Forward. She is going to abseil 400 odd feet to raise money and awareness of the Duchenne muscular dystrophy for Action Duchenne, the charity that's looking into a cure. And she's just been telling us about her son, Joe, who has that condition. And um, yeah, it's incredible. What uh, what a thing to do. And uh, we'll, we'll let you know how they get on. We'll follow their story here on Mid Morning on BBC Radio Lincolnshire.